right now, we can go back and listen to Dr. Amwaku Tufo, who is a member of the NPP Council of Elders there, uh, on calls for the reinstatement of Kwabna Japan. Um, we took a decision to first give them all the chance to defend themselves for specific reasons. Now, most people don't know the reasons. And if some of the reasons should come out, okay, they may or may not prejudice people's minds and even affect some of their political future, some of them. Uh, when people want a person to be reinstated, uh, they just say it, because, but they don't know the reason why he was suspended in the first place. And I am not going to sit here to explain the reasons. Let's just say that there were good reasons why he was suspended. But of course, I mean, Doc, we do know that um, he was being suspended because it was alleged that they were working against the victory of then candidate Nana Danke Kufuadu. Against the interests of the party. Mm. Okay? Take a thief. Take an accountant as an example. Who has stolen monies in a business. He's been caught. And dismissed or suspended. And then he starts going to church. He starts visiting people. He shows remorse. He, he's very apologetic to people, very pleasant. Is that basis to assume that when he, you admit him and he comes back and he has a chance to steal again, he will not do it? Mm. The people who made the decision will know best what change of mind or what attitude they must adopt. Mm. Why were they not uh, 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 dismissed? Or why was there a preferred thing against them? Must be reasons. These are internal matters of the party. Mm -hmm. And I will find it very difficult explaining them without exposing things that should be internally guarded by the party. But let me give you an example. When these things happened, I was called on the TV quite a few times to explain what can they do as party members. We were going for the elections. And I came out several times to say, look, if they've been suspended, they can do something which is of interest to the party. One of them is that people were accusing them, or some of them, as uh, campaigning against Nanado. Fine. I suggested that why don't you, if they feel strongly that they didn't do anything like this, go and buy a lot of T-shirts with Nanado in it, come to the general public and distribute them. And let the press know, let people know. Same thing should be done with, with posters. Go and paste Nanado's posters against John Mahama and all that. I repeated this in several places. They are just examples of things people can do. If you move around quietly or moving, nobody knows what is in your brains. But there are certain actions that can impress upon people that, oh, they accused him of A, B, C, D, but the actions he has taken publicly is influencing positively Nanado's candidature. And therefore, you have basis to consider taking him back or getting him back. I've already given you an example about a step stand mm -hmm. and an accountant and how people view some of these things. But, but Doc, I mean, the argument has been that, you remember Sami Krab and then Paula Foucault went to court. I mean, they contested the decision of the uh, National Executive Council. But then, Kobne J. Japon, they didn't go to court. So they think that his conduct really is in the right direction. That is a sign of remorse. He wasn't contesting the decision by the executives, and that is why he should be reinstated. <laughs> if you don't go to court, it doesn't mean that you are not angry inside you or you don't go to court it doesn't mean uh, that you don't have anything against the party mm. some people don't go to court because they don't like to go to court some people 
will not go to court because they are afraid of the repercussions because court may also expose a lot of things to the public. So some people may be wise enough not to do that. Okay? I am not saying this was his reason. You are asking me a question and I'm giving you a general answer. So by not going to court is no basis. Just like I said, an accountant who has stolen before, who has done something wrong, has been thrown out. He does not go to court to contest the people who, who threw him out. And he's quiet. You see him going to church, and he starts moving with church leaders and all that. Does it mean he's not a thief? No, so for you, Doc, do you see a sign of remorse as far as Covenant is concerned? I haven't interacted him, with him uh, after that period, no. So I, I can't say one thing or the other. But for now, the... Um, you see, council. it is not just an ordinary party member. We're talking about a general secretary of the party. And there were specific things that were preferred against him. You show remorse over the things you've been accused about. Those things that he was accused about, you cannot show remorse over them in public. No. They are different. Okay, so for somebody to plead that, oh, he's shown remorse and all that, is a very wrong deduction of the real situation. Okay? Yes. So, so the National Council, as you say, are kicking against this reinstatement petition? Oh, nothing has come in front of us. Not yet. A but party, this is a democratic party. People are free to express their opinions. Right. But people should not force their opinions on others. If you do that, then people are going to start questioning that are these people who are asking for Kwabre Japan or whoever to come back, have they been bought? Have they been paid monies to come and do that and all that? People will start giving reasons for certain things that have been uh, done or happening. I don't want to go there, but I am saying that definitely if it comes to the party, it comes to the uh, National Council, sure, when we get to the river, we'll definitely have our plans as so to how to the cross National it. National Council consider reinstating him, uh, or perhaps I don't even want to dismiss him because it's been two years. Um, I think it's a very lucky situation that you are still a member of the party. You can come back one day and be a useful member of the party. But if you push your luck and other people also say, no, the, the, uh, the charges were serious enough, they have to be dismissed, then you may either go and form a new party yourself or just go out in, in, in whatever way you want to see it. People have different opinions over this issue just like me, but I'm only one person. I'm not saying one thing or the other against anybody, because I don't want to do that. But what I want to do is to explain clearly what the situations are and the wrong way people are interpreting things. Guy has been quiet, therefore he's good. Guy has been quiet, therefore he didn't do anything bad, or has to be pardoned. Those are wrong reasons for making such deductions. Why will it be necessary going into uh, elections for you to suspend the, the chairman of the party, the first vice, and your general secretary? Can't you see that the, this is a very dangerous thing that the party had to take, decision that they had to take, but they had to take it no matter how dangerous it was, and we had to stick with it. And we won. If we had lost, it would have been a different matter. We won the elections. So what could have been really wrong with having the, those three people in position that we tried to dislodge and were able to win the election? See, when you sit down and analyze it seriously, a lot of people will say, hey, then it's good riddance. 
Don't let them hang on. They are even bad news. If people start talking and say, look, we made a decision, it worked out for us. The decisions were serious enough for people, serious-minded people, to make a concrete decision, unanimous decision, to say A, B, C, D, finish. And it was a wise decision. All right, so it was a wise decision. It says Dr. Amwakutufo is a member of the Council of Elders of the NPP.